Morning, Mercy. Good morning, Marie. Happy New Year. It is 2018. <laughs> Happy New Year to you. And I really, it's kind of funny how many people I've read who just kind of had a lousy last year. I yeah, didn't. I, I had a great last year, so. You know, I think that, I think last year for me, I was probably in that camp of others. It wasn't lousy, but it just wasn't an inspiring year. And I'm hoping 2018 really is. Oh, yeah. We're going to change that. Yeah. 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 I, I, just by the power of just us. <laughs> us two, we're going to change everybody's lives <laughs> with our podcast, Hand to Mouth. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, so I'm really excited about this year. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that we have plenty of really fruitful, wonderful things happen, not only in my life, but on the Hand to Mouth podcast. I'm really excited. It's been fun. This I is, agree. We've only shot three episodes so far, only but three. it's been a blast. Yeah, I think, <laughs> I, I think you could say we've got a little chemistry together, and it's nice, and I enjoy doing it. And I love hearing, like our guest today, came in supposedly very nervous. I yeah. didn't really see it. And I think that's the power of talking and making people feel comfortable. It's kind of a gift. And I'm, I'm very appreciative of having it. And I think you have it too, absolutely. Thank you. And then all of a sudden after the podcast, people are like, oh my God, I came in so, so nervous. And you made me feel so comfortable. And they think it's fun. And can we go a little longer? Yeah. So well, that's all good. that's a good sign. Absolutely. Well, hopefully we're doing it right then. I am. I don't know about you. But. <laughs> well, it's January. We're off to a good start in San Diego for yeah. all sorts of different events. And yeah. I know you have some fun stuff happening up here on January 13th. Yes, I've got the um, the Travel and Adventure Show coming up at the San Diego Convention Center, mm -hmm. where I am a judge at the Culinary Fight Club. And uh, I saw it last year for the first time in person. It was so much fun. Uh, the competing chefs were Tom Lodgen of the Balboa, which is one of our favorite oh, burgers gosh, in town, yeah. if not the best burger in town. Um, and then there was Willie Ike of 608, which, you know, he's an incredible chef. And Nick Nappy. And, oh, my gosh, remind me from the name. From Master of, Chef. Yeah, from Master Chef uh -huh. and the name of his place. Oh, Bar one. one. Bar One, thank you. Mm -hmm. Which in I've Little eaten Italy. Yeah, yep. it's so yummy. And it was so much fun to just watch. And uh, last year, Willie Ike did win. Uh -huh. And uh, so I, I don't know exactly what chefs are going to be in, but it's that level of chefs. And that is on January 13th. And it's a great, so much fun to walk around, especially if you're planning to travel at all next year. I mean, there's so many experts here that can help you travel, plan your travel, which actually I'm going to be doing a lot of next year. So I think I'm going to utilize <laughs> a lot of that while I'm there. And then I will be judging it. And I don't know who I'm judging it with. Oh. So last year, the judges were Candace Wu of Eater and, and Henry, Henry Wade of mm -hmm. SanDiegoVille.com. So um, it'll be fun to see wh who it is, you know. Ah, that Come on great. down. And it's only uh, $18 a ticket. Correct. So and it's at the Can San Diego Convention Center. Yes, yeah. It's massive. If you haven't been, it's quite a spectacular show. And it's it's got representation from all over the planet. They do a really good job at it. You'll hear more about it as this coming week. I guarantee you, as soon as you hit the 9 a.m. Uh, news shows. Oh, radio shows, yeah. And you'll stuff, see them TV. everywhere. Yeah. You'll, you'll see the advertising. But uh, it's a lot of fun here in San Diego. I'm looking forward to it, yes. What about you? Well, we found out this morning our guests, uh, our guests um, from Bitter Brothers are doing their two-year mm -hmm. anniversary, which is, is kind of fun. And we had Feeding yeah. San Diego this morning. I was really glad to have them. Uh, right. You know, as far as um, things going on, my January is just filled with podcasts and um, and just doing planning for my clients. Just when she uses the word just, <laughs> with with Marie, <laughs> when Marie just just means. Um, you know, 80 hours a week uh, <laughs> and, and still raising a family and I'm in awe of her. You know, <laughs> yeah. I always say I'm just the mouthpiece and uh, she does so much of the planning and, and I love her for that. And she's so good at promoting oh, and everything. So, yeah, but it, it works out for the both of us. Uh, there's there's some kind of a balance. I don't know what it is, but <laughs> but it works. So. Well, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I, I'm lucky. I, I enjoy the people I work with and I enjoy yeah. my job. So. That works and for me. Is that that's uh, <laughs> that, that's always what makes things even more fun to do when you enjoy yeah. Yeah. what you're doing instead of what I say is majority of people go to a job every day they don't like. Yeah. So this is fun where we're going to able to just yak and and talk about food and go to all these food events. Yeah. So well, it's you know it's today's January second. We will probably post this next week, and by that time, my daughter in college will have gone back to school. And so daughter in college, she's in the in the booth there. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> paying no attention to us whatsoever. <laughs> she'll be she'll be heading back to you know to. To, to school, and so I won't see her Aww. as I have the whole month. So I'll I'll have a little slump, but I I do have go. my daughter Julia uh, still at home, who's a senior in high school. So, you know, I still have my attachment. I don't know what I'm going to do next year. 
I don't wow, you'll be an empty nester. <laughs> an empty nester. Once that yeah. happens, I don't I, know. I think she'll find plenty to fill her time, okay? <laughs> I'm not worried about that at all. And you shouldn't be either, so. <laughs> you know, but uh, I'm, I'm looking at my calendar this week, and right after I leave here, I'm just going to be taking a look at what I want my goals to be for good. 2018. The types That's of good. things I want to change, the types of things I want to keep or enhance that, you know, I either have worked on <clears> or want to work on. That's my. I, that's I think what I'm looking at. those are very not lofty, but just normal good mm-hmm. goals to have. My goal, um, through some unforeseen opportunities that fell in my lap, I'm I'm going to be able to do a lot of traveling this next year. Um, hopefully, I won't interfere with the podcast too much, but <laughs> I'm going to go back. We're just going to gonna the, have to do remote ones. I know from the Caribbean, <laughs> uh, where I'll be in March, uh, and you know places that I have not been able to go to before, like yeah. like New Orleans, and and uh, I don't know, just so many fun things. I'm gonna, hopefully going to do some barbecue competitions and in. in uh, Boy, in New Jersey of all places, mm-hmm. and maybe hopefully it's not during the Arctic freeze. Oh heck no! <laughs> no, this is like oh September. I think that's a good time, okay, though. That's I think. a good time. Yeah. So uh, those are my goals and plans. Uh, obviously, just always moving ahead in the food industry here. I'd love to host more events and mm-hmm. do things like that and yeah. be MC at a lot of things. Just anything that involves yeah. talking, you which know? is a lot of fun. Yeah, I used to do the MCing for uh, the the Taco and Spirit Fest down in Chula Vista's ah. Harbor Fest in the fall. So much fun. I oh yeah. Totally see you doing that. Yeah. Either. Thank you. I, so I'm available for hire. <laughs> there you, you go. Know? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a lot of fun. But that's that's what my January looks like. I'm going to try and kind of set the tone for my 2018, especially since, like I said, I didn't love 2017. A lot of people didn't. You know, a lot of people didn't. I don't know what it was, but uh, I'm hoping that this year I can just wipe away all the things that maybe I did not love about 2017 and start on a different different footing. I'm thinking Mercury must have been in retrograde the whole dang year from the way people were talking. So yeah, whatever that really means. But yeah. (laughs) But we, you know, I think that we've got some really great guests that have expressed interest also on being Uh, so many that it's hard to even kind of fit them all in Mm -hmm. and trying to figure out where to do it. So yeah, it'll be it'll be a fun and exciting year at at hand to mouth podcast. And, uh, and if you're a chef or somebody local Mm -hmm. that would like to be on our show, I'll see if I can squeeze you in somewhere, you know. <laughs> just, just leave a comment. Yeah. You know, we, we, we check our, our Facebook messages on a regular basis, so leave right. a comment there. Send us a message, you know, and we'd love to hear from you and what you think or if you have any suggestions on who you'd like to see or talk about. There you go. All right? Yes. Well, Happy New Year, everybody. Yes, Happy New Year. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.